हेलो व्हाट्सअप गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यूर डिंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड वेलकम बैक टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गॉन आर स्टार्टिंग विथ सी एस एस सो वॉट इज सी एस एस सो सी एस एस रिप्रेजेंट कास्कैडिंग स्टाइल शीट सो वॉट वाई डज इट लाइक वाई इट इज कॉल्ड कास्कैडिंग स्टाइल शीट सो कास्कैडिंग जनरली मीन्स सो वेन लाइक वेन एवर वी आर इम्पोर्टिंग टू और थ्री फाइल्स एंड वी वॉन्ट द कम्बाइन रिजल्ट सो इन दैट केस ओनली द कास्कैडिंग वर्ड इज इंट्रोड्यूस सो on screen you can see there is one man hakon wim lee so he is the only person who like proposed the idea of uh, creating css in 1994 after his proposal in 1996 the first version of css was introduced and in 1998 css2 was introduced and now we are using the third version that is css3 so let us just started with our chronology that we are going to follow today so first of all we are going to see what is css a bit a history of css after that we have css editors then we will be seeing the basic structure of css but in a very short and after that we will be seeing like how to write css in html files okay so what is this css so css is basically cascading style sheet and you can see previously before css how these web pages were looking so for that i will show you the first website uh, that was ever created on world wide web so you can see this is info.cern.cern.ch so this was the very first website that you can see on the screen so this was uh, the website uh, which is not uh, which is not consisted of like css so it is the very simple html page it is just having the hyperlinks of different different uh, like let's say servers so as i think in the last video only i have explained you that the there were only four, four servers like four campus were connected to each other in us so this was the very first website so it is actually interconnecting those campuses okay after that uh, there is one simple difference let's say this is the gmail page that you can see in your daily life so on the top there is a standard view of a gmail page and on the bottom side there is one basic view of html page so let's say you have a less amount of data or you have the less network speed so in that case gmail will provide you the option to load this gmail page with the very basic html so as css files and javascript files are going to take like uh, they consume a lot like more bandwidth as compared to html page so in that case like you can load this simple basic html page and otherwise you can see there is one standard basic html like standard page okay so this is the very basic like why should we use css just to style our web page okay after that we have css editors so css editors basically means on the the ide on which you can develop the codes related to html css and javascript as well so my personal favorites are these three vs code sublime taste and notepad plus plus so but my personal very favorite is vs code because it gives you the like auto correct and also it is having a lots of extension to make your code look beautiful as well so below that there is basic css structure so you can see there is some sort of selectors so what are the selectors i will explain you in short okay so let us jump directly onto the vs code let's say so if you are not having vs code you can just type vs code on your any browser whichever you are using and just go to the first side and uh, yeah so you can just download it from here and you have to just like install it and next 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 you know okay so let us jump directly onto the vs code so i have opened vs code and yes i have opened one folder dev town so in that i am going to create one file by the name index.html okay and another file by the name index okay sorry my bad okay so another file we will create by the name index.css okay so in html page for loading the boilerplate code you need to you need to like press shift and 1 and enter it so you will be able to get this beautiful boilerplate code so you can in that you can change this title as you might are available of this title so i will just give it the name like getting started with css okay so in body section i am just going to write some tags let's say i am writing h1 tag 
and hello world okay so this is the basic html page that you can see and i am saving this so in uh, vs code there is one extension called live server you can install it from this extension part so you, you have to just search your live server okay so this is the first very first like you can see so you just need to install it by clicking install okay so after installing that you just need to click like right click on our file and open with live server so what does this live server do it will open your site in live mode so whenever you are like whenever you are gonna save the file afterwards so it is like it will update the same code in your browser as well so you like don't need to save it another times okay so you can see hello world is opening here so let us do some styling to it so in how many ways like do we can do the styling to our web page so there are basically three ways okay so that three ways are so let's say the first way is inline styling second way to do that is our internal style sheets and the third way is external style sheets so now what does this style sheet means okay but before that let me just give you the brief about what are these selectors that we see in our on our slides okay so selectors are basically let's say i want to style my web page from here only from the tag itself so i just need to type the style here okay and in parenthesis in double inverted comma okay i just need to select whatever property want i want to change let's say i want to change the height of let's say let's say height of this particular tag so i will just write height and i can just pass the value like how much height height i want so i'm just saving this and i'm just going back to my browser so as you can see the height is going to 100 pixel but why it is not visible but we are not adding the height to the text itself we are adding the height to our h1 tag so to see that you need to like put on another property that is border so that what this border tag will do so this border tag will uh, apply some border to this particular tag you can say and right now okay okay so you can see we are getting the height of 100 pixel to that particular box so let's say i am like like decreasing it to 50 percent you can see the changes as well in the browser okay so like this so this is called the inline styling so the style which is written inside the tag only so that is called the inline styling okay so another way to style our uh, tag is to write the internal style sheet so what does this internal style sheet means so internal style sheet basically means after title we can write one style tag okay so in style tag we can like give the style to our tags whatever present in the like uh, our body okay so let's say i want to give the tag uh, style to h1 tag so i will select h1 here then i will enter some uh, curly brackets so and in that i will okay i am doing it wrong way so i just need to pass the style whatever i want so i just want height and after that i need to take colon and after that i need to pass the value of it okay so like this this internal style sheet work i am just giving you the brief like a very short idea but in the later later on videos we will discuss it in uh, detail okay so this is internal style sheet and what what does this external style sheet means okay so external style sheet simply means if my style logic is not located in the same html file then in that case we will call it as a external style sheet but we need to like link our external style sheet file to our html code so in that case there is one tag called link tag okay so how will it how will this ring tag work so we just need to pass the relevant style sheet and href in href we need to pass the location of the css file so i will just do it dot backslash and i will just pass the index dot css file location okay so i'm just saving it and after that if we are going to our css file okay and i am passing here h1 okay and i am passing some sort of border let's say okay i am passing border here okay my shoes and border let's say i'm passing one pixel solid red so you don't have to worry about what i'm writing this one pixel solid solid red you will get to know about this in our later videos so as you can see i am getting the border with red color so this is the basic difference between like external inline and uh, internal style sheets 
ओके सो देर इज लाइक पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर टू टू गेट अवर स्टाइल्स अप्लाई टू लाइक वेब पेजेस सो एज आई थिंक आई हैव मैंशन दैट इन माई स्लाइड्स एज वेल यू कैन सी ओके सो देर इज वन पर्टिकुलर सिक्वेंस लाइक प्रिफरेंस सो इन लाइन स्टाइल्स प्रिफरेंस इज फर्स्ट इंटरनल स्टाइल्स प्रिफरेंस इज सेकेंड एक्सटर्नल स्टाइल्स प्रिफरेंस इज थर्ड ओके सो यू वी माइट हैव रिटर्न द सेम सी एस एस लाइक सी एस एस लॉजिक फॉर लाइक ऑल टैग्स माइट बी इन लाइन इंटरनल एक्सटर्नल सो दिस इज द प्रिफरेंस ओके सो इन विच द स्टाइल्स विल बी अप्लाई टू अवर सी लाइक अवर वेब पेजेस ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिक एंड वॉट आर दिस सिलेक्टर सो टू गिव अ वेरी शॉर्ट आइडिया अबाउट सिलेक्टर सो लेट से देर आर देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिलेक्टर सो फर्स्ट वन इज अवर आई डी सिलेक्टर एंड सेकेंड वन इज क्लास सिलेक्टर ओके सो यू डोंट नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस वी विल सी दिस इन अवर लेटर वीडियोज बट सो हाउ टू पास ऑन दिस सिलेक्टर सो लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस पर्टिकुलर टैग सो इन दैट केस आई नीड टू पास द सिलेक्टर ओके सो आई एम राइटिंग इफ आई एम राइटिंग डायरेक्ट एच वन आई एम राइटिंग लाइक दिस इंटरनल स्टाइल शीट एंड आई एम पासिंग द स्टाइल्स टू एच वन टैग देन इट विल गेट अप्लाई टू ऑल द एच वन स्टैग सो नाउ लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई द स्टाइल्स टू दिस पर्टिकुलर एच वन टैग विच इज प्रेजेंट ऑन लाइन नंबर एटीन सो इन दैट केस आई विल पास दिस आई डी ओके एंड आई विल गिव एनी नेम टू दिस आई डी लेट से आई एम दिस आई डिंग एच ई ए डी हैड वन टैग ओके एंड हाउ टू हाउ टू हाउ टू हाउ टू गेट इट स्टाइल इन इंटरनल सो लेट से ओके आई विल शो यू हाउ टू डू इथ इन एक्सटर्नल सो ओके सो इफ इट इज हेड वन देन आई विल गो टू माई इंडेक्स डॉट सी एस एस एंड आई विल सिंपली राइट डाउन हैश एंड हेड वन ओके सो वाई एम राइटिंग हैश सो वेन एवर वी आर लाइक लेट से डिनोटिंग अवर टैग बाय आई डी सिलेक्टर सो इन दैट केस वी नीड टू यूज हैश एंड वेन एवर वी आर डिनोटिंग अवर टैग बाय एनी क्लास सिलेक्टर इन दैट केस वी नीड टू यूज डॉट इंस्टेड ऑफ हैश यर so no worries if you are not understanding you will get to know about this later on in depth okay so just to give you a short idea you can see as well i am getting the red color only okay and you can see in elements in head tag okay no sorry in body tag in body tag we are having h1 and here is id1 okay so this is the very like a short introduction about what css is and how to implement css so in later on videos we will see this concepts in depth so i think this is enough for today so thank you so much guys for watching and see you in later videos thank you so much